Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools and DIY channel. Now when it comes to cutting metal tubing, there's a few ways you can do that and we'll talk about that. But there's also some new technology out there to help you do it even better. So stick around and I'll see you right after this. Okay, so there's a few ways you can cut metal tubing. One, you can use a chop saw, like you see right here. Two, you can use a cutoff wheel, like you see right here. And three, you can use a bandsaw, like you see here. Well, this past week, I got to visit a welding trade show, and I gotta tell you, I saw some interesting new technology when it comes to cutting metal tubing. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Pascal with XAir USA, and today I'm gonna show you the 122 FS19 orbital cutter and beveler. So this machine has a range from quarter inch OD to four and a half inch OD, and this can cut anything from stainless tubing up to schedule 80 schedule 40 uh, carbon steel or a little bit of schedule 40 stainless steel so the specificity of this machine is you clamp the piece of pipe on the inside here and then we're going to rotate the motor around the tube this allows for a very square cut up to 20,000 square so this is square enough to where you can butt it up and weld it directly like that no more need to file it down this is locked quicker and safer, square than a traditional bandsaw. So how this works, I'm just gonna take my piece of pipe. This is two inch 065 wall, regular stainless tubing, 304. I'm gonna insert this into the machine, set how much I want to cut. How do you set how much you wanna cut? So the distance is going to be from the blade all the way to the edge of my pipe. This is gonna be the distance that I'm gonna be cutting. From here, I have my motor with adjustable speed. Uh, the speed depends on the material. On stainless, you're gonna be wanting to cut a little bit slower. On carbon steel, you're gonna go a little bit faster. So I'm gonna turn my motor on, penetrate with my hand the blade into the tube. You'll notice that the blade is barely sticking in on the inside. So I'll allow for minimum blade wear and maximum blade usage. And from here, with my hand away from the tip, I can just start cutting away. And this is effortless and can be automated if you need to. Take my blade out and from here we can see the cut results, burr free, square, 20 thousandths. So this is a ready to weld result for uh, some orbital welders. Excellent. Here, just by changing two screws, I can convert my cutter into a beveler. So this allows, this beveler right here can do a V prep, 30 degree, 37.5, 45 degree, and we also have a milling head to do J preps for people who do orbital 
pipe welding. The way this works, this is a similar to a CNC process. We use milling inserts, high speed milling head rotating around and in one pass we can get a full bevel on schedule 40, some schedule 80 as well. So our beveler is set up. I'm just gonna insert my piece of pipe. So you can see it's pretty easy since it's concentric clamping, all the jaws move at the same time. Concentric clamping. Right, they all come in at the same time. All come at the same time. All contact points are in stainless, so there's no risk of cross-contamination. So first, I'm gonna come and set up the depth of my beveler. I'm gonna bring the roller in contact with the outside of the pipe. Tighten this down. Then bring my pipe in contact with my milling insert, and this is gonna help me set my zero. So once I have this, I can back out my stop gauge, and from here, I can set my zero point. So now I can take off, so this is schedule 40. We wanna take off about 80 thousandths. Do a little more, 120 thousandths. From there, cut up my piece of pipe against the stop gauge. Plug in my motor. Pretty cool feature on all our our machines. We have a swivel cord, so as the cord wraps around the pipe, there's no risk of twisting or bending the cord. From here, I'm going to lower my anti-chip shield to make sure I don't have any chips flying around. Thanks, man. Yep. And I'm going to check my motor speed. So in a similar way, I'm going to plunge the motor inside the pipe and then start rotating around. I'm going to be able to do a bevel pretty quickly. machine bevel and what's nice this is cold so there's no risk for operators getting burnt no heat affected zone nice and consistent land and I can adjust the thickness of the land I can do a knife mm. edge or a specific land and once this is set up I can just go ahead put another piece back in there and start beveling all right guys so what do you think about the new technology it's pretty good huh well guys if you learned something from the video please hit the like subscribe button don't forget to share and go to Calibrate.com, check out some of the products we have there for you to help support the channel. And also, don't forget to sign up for the email list. Hey, guys, see you next time. Have a good one.